Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this episode, I want to talk about multi-factor authentication. I'm in my PDI and I just want it to be a little bit more secure, especially since I'm posting videos on YouTube and sometimes my instance name pops up and I don't miss it. I miss it. I forget to blur it out. So we're going to do this together. Um, first thing I want to do is search for multi-factor in my applications. And uh, this was already installed for me, but I wanted to show you that this is the plugin integration dash multi-factor authentication or MFA that needs to be installed. You can see it was there installed for me. So I didn't do anything in my PDI that was there magically um, or by default. The next thing I did um, or you want to do is go over to sys underscore properties dot list and in there, there's some pr system properties for uh, multi-factor. You can actually see the one right there at the top that I was playing with, but let's just search for authenticate.multi. So glide.authenticate.multi should pull in all of my multi-factor settings uh, once I hit enter after drawing on the screen. So I'll hit enter and there it is. There's all my multi-factor settings. So things like, like how many times um, the, in the browser should be remembered and how many times um, is that enabled or not? So lots of little settings you can check. Most importantly here for um, my system was this false on the glide.multifactor or glide.authenticate.multifactor. This is the setting that's going to enable multi-factor authentication. So I want that to be true. So let's go ahead and set that to true. T-R-U-E. Hit the save button there. Now I will uh, remind you I'm in my global scope. Um, all of these properties you can see here are in the global application scope. So we need to make sure that's there. And the next thing I need to do on my PDI, I actually use admin. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should create my own account, but I use admin. And so what you wanna do is go into your settings and add this enable multi-factor authentication field to your user settings. Um, and then I searched for admin, which is the user I've been logging in as, and made sure that true was set for enable multi-factor authentication. I didn't have to worry about the application scope for that one. I was just able to set it, set it to true. So now the experience should be next time I log in, I should be prompted to set up multi-factor authentication. And I'm going to do that with you live. In fact, I'm picking up my phone now to make sure it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit the log out button here as system administrator and I'm going to log back in and I'm going to copy my password from a different screen so all of you nice people watching on YouTube won't be able to see it and I will warn you as I set up multi-factor authentication I'm going to blur out the QR code because the QR code um, if you were to take a shot of this video right now you could use that QR code and then you'd have access to my account if you knew my password so I'm going to blur that out I'm also going to be extra cautious and blur out the, um, well, I'm gonna blur out this code and I'm gonna blur out this six digit verification code. So I use Google Authenticator. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my phone, I'm gonna scan this QR code, and then once it's scanned, it's gonna give me a six digit verification code and I'm gonna type in that six digit verification code into this box and I'm gonna do that with you live. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign on my mobile device. I'm gonna scan the QR code, got it. And that is now loaded in my system. I scroll all the way to the bottom, and now this is interesting. So it has my instance name um, in uh, as the name of it with parentheses. The user is admin. Um, so I think that's interesting. But I'm going to go ahead and type in my code now here, and I'm not going to say it out loud, even though I almost did. And I'm going to pair the device and log in. So now multi-factor authentication authentication is set up, and um, luckily. Um, I shouldn't have to worry about it, but I just wanted to secure my instance and make sure that was set up. You can do this on your PDI, and of course you can do this on your um, enterprise or corporate instance as well. I just want to make sure, because of the public nature of all my videos, that my stuff was secure. And that's it, a short video on multi-factor authentication. You saw me set it up there for the admin. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in enabling multi-factor authentication in their PDI. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.